this year, I'm 17 and I've just finished school. I'm thinking about what to study next, but I know I'd like to work in the music industry. Wow, it's such a big space. Wow. It's like it belongs in a spaceship. Yeah. When was this equipment last used? This was last used at the uh, MTV Awards in Bilbao in Spain wow. last week. MTV, so what acts played there? Oh, let's see if we can remember. Nicki Minaj, Panic at the Disco, Janet Jackson, uh, Bastille, Anne-Marie, and a whole lot more, I think. Stereo reverb processor saw. <laughs> Smart. So these microphones, right, they're picking up both the snare drum signal, but the polarity is reversed. At the same time, as this one is dealing with a negative voltage on pin 2. Would I need to know everything that you just said if I want to be a successful sound engineer? Well, remember the course is a three-year course, so you have plenty of time to learn. But it is a very technical course, and, uh, and sound engineering at the end of the day is physics. But yeah, it's, it's, it's more technical than a lot of people think, but you'll have time to learn it. So um, what is everyone doing? So There's this, a lot going on. So this is the prep bay. This is where all our equipment gets prepared. And we're going to test it, make sure everything works before it goes out the door. Is there any gig in the world, like on this planet, that is just too big? For us? Yeah. No. 